I got this uh, chest yesterday and I changed it and it's it's uh, very reminiscent of something that used to be uh, something called a hope chest so I'm going to talk about that Hmm. God, this goes back a long time. Anyway, I, I was going to talk about this hope chest. Anyway, this this hope this this chest that I'm sitting on. Uh, I don't know the origin. I'm going to start. I need to find out about that. The origin of the hope chest. But it was a it was a chest that that young women. Uh, I guess I don't know what age. Probably some rite of passage thing. It was probably something like maybe they got a hope chest when they. I don't know. I'm just I'm just winging this. I have no idea what a hope chest was at that time. But it seems like it would have been something that maybe uh, the appropriate time for that would have been at at puberty or at uh, what is it when uh, is, I guess is that puberty for women when they when they uh, get their first period to something like that. But anyway. The hope chest was a chest that was, and it was usually, I think it was usually made out of cedar because cedar, I guess, keeps insects away. A cedar chest. And uh, I remember when I was working, uh, when I was in, God, I have to tell you the whole story in order, and I don't know, I think I, my camera may run out of time. <coughs> but <coughs> at that time, let's see gone to college for one year and the summer god this is a long story uh the hope chest let's get back to the chest this chest women at uh up until i think i was probably part of the last generation that even knew anything about a hope chest because when i was living in ohio i had this job selling cookware you know and the the people that we it was cookware uh, cookware, flatware, crystal, and uh, tableware, like uh, ceramicware, plates. Uh, you know, things for, for setting up like a kitchen in a home. And that's what a hope chest was for, is that when these women would get, like they would, they would collect like their dishes, and right? put their dishes inside of this box. Or they would get, or someone would give them something like someone would give them maybe a quilt. I'm just winging this. I don't know. I mean, this is probably what happened. Maybe grandma would say, oh, well, this is for your hope chest. And maybe it'd be a, a, a quilt or something. And and these, these chests would become filled with stuff that a young woman would need when she gets married. And so uh, that's not a, that's not something that's around anymore. And that's, that's kind of, that's kind of a, I think that's. I think that's kind of a loss, you know, uh, I think any time a tradition is lost, it's not a good thing if it's a good, if it's a good tradition. And I think probably a hope chest is a good tradition, you know, because you, you have this box and it contains the things, you know, you have this box in your home and you go and you open it up and, and there's the stuff. This thing happens to be filled with these, uh, uh, all of these dress patterns and stuff. This came out of some estate where this person was uh, making these patterns. I think I think it was an estate. I think the person died, but it was some old lady, like a, a grandma type. And I, I was very fascinated by the by the fact that all of these things are in process. So I'm going to leave these things probably in process. I, you know, and here's something else that. And this is kind of a grandma kind of a thing. I, I you know, I I don't know if it is or not, but the fabric. The fabric uh, for this, if I can get it disconnected, it's very kind of an odd sort of a thing. But anyway, it's filled with 
that kind of stuff and it was just a regular box it wasn't uh, it was this is basically a plywood box and it's real good it's it's made out of really nice uh, high quality wood I mean it's got a really good finish the, it's a it's a finish finished plywood three-quarter inch well braced in the corners everything really great and then they they took these uh, these legs off of something else and put on there it was really great so anyway I just wanted to uh, to share with you the story of that and uh, and show you also the chest and show you this new piece that uh, is hanging in my studio so there is a view into my studio the studio is being processed right now uh, the floor is in the middle of processing the floor right now so this is what I'm doing and I hope you have a lovely day today and we shall close with a little view of this incredible little baby doll which I think is just incredibly beautiful beautiful sculpture Whoever did that did a great job. I'm Heller Roddy. Thanks for watching. And this thing changed. That's the way things are. This this uh, this lace came out of that trunk that I just showed you, you know, and, and <clears throat> this butterfly turned into kind of a moth. It was a butterfly in the last video and now it's more of a moth. Let's see if I can get it to do a moth thing. Oh, that's perfect moth imitation, beautiful. Beautiful moth imitation. Anyway, this is something that's in front of one of my windows in my studio. And it's there to, uh, at this particular time of year, it's there to block out the sun. Because uh, with a passive solar studio, uh, you know, you want to keep the, you want to keep the, uh, you want to keep the sun out in the summer and keep the sun in in the winter. I love the texture on this piece right here. It's got such beautiful texture. It's got such beautiful texture. And it's not even from Textureville. No, it's not from Textureville. It's not from Textureville. It's not from Textureville. It's not from Textureville. No, it's not from Textureville. And there I put, <clears throat> I put those, uh, shades up there I will be coming up with a different system for dealing with that oh well one thing is for sure when you run out of coffee you gotta go get coffee When you run out of coffee, you've got to go get some coffee. Because if you've got no coffee, it means you've got no coffee. And when you've got no coffee, it means you've got no coffee. I'll show you something else here. <clears throat> this is really remarkable. I hate those freaking dogs. I do.
Look at the size of this son of a gun. Look at the size of this thing. This. These pieces here, look at that. This is petrified wood. This, look at this. <clears throat> look at this. That's a branch of a tree that has been petrified. Oh. Now this right here, <clears throat> there's some, this is petrified wood. You can see right here, you can see the, the rings, the tree rings. Those are tree rings. This is a rock. You can see the, you can see the, uh, you can see the, uh, what is it called? The, uh, the grain of the wood right there. Now this stuff right here is really, really fascinating. This is a palm wood. This is a palm tree. This is a palm tree found here in New Mexico. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's got, uh, you know, palm trees are basically a grass. So you can see, I think they're more of a grass. So you can see the grass granules of this. This is a rock. This is, uh, this is beautiful. And here's one that's probably a little bit, maybe a better example, perhaps. Here is an interesting one. That right there, this is beautiful. Look at that. That is a knot. The knot of a tree petrified. Look at that one. That is, that is petrified wood. This is petrified wood. This is all petrified wood. And the thing that, you know, the thing I was, I was thinking about, I was thinking about ancient things, you know, and thinking about, uh, uh, It, you know, the interest in ancient, ancient things. You know, and I was thinking, well, and I was thinking, well, well people will relate more to, uh, to petrified wood than to something else, like, say, like coral. And then I was thinking, well, what would the argument be? <clears throat> but that, those trees that I just got through, those rocks that I just got through showing you were at one time a tree. Something that, that, that uh, well, there weren't people living at that time. This probably goes back 20 million years but uh, had there been people alive, had, you know, had, well, like some of the trees, you go out in your yard, there's a tree. 20 million years from now, if this earth is, you know, if, if, if that tree goes through the same stuff that the wood that's out on this porch goes through, it'll look very similar. So that was real interesting to me. Anyway, I'm going to, ah, uh, when you're out of coffee, you've got to go get more coffee, and I am out of coffee.